Welcome into Soda City Living, I'm Madeline Stewart. You do your taxes every year, you always keep that April deadline top of mind. But when it comes to your retirement, it's important to recognize the difference between tax planning and tax preparation. Joining me now is Amy Ross. Amy is a financial professional and the owner of Gold Shield Wealth, a firm that focuses on preparing people for retirement. Thanks so much for being here. Well, thank you so much for having me, Madeline. We're excited to hear from you about this difference between tax prep and tax planning. Uh, so what is the difference? Big difference. So you, as a young lady, you get to do tax preparation every year. Mail starts coming in in January to see what you owe old Uncle Sam in April. That's what we all get to do every year. Mm -hmm. Now, tax planning is totally different than that. That is where you take your retirement savings and you strategically place them in different buckets per se of money to where in your maybe 30 years of retirement that you have, you can weather the different tax environments that you're in more effectively. Now, when we're 18 or when we get that first job, we're all used to paying taxes from that point on. Is there a point when we should start tax planning? You should absolutely start tax planning immediately. Because of guidelines and the, the minimum amounts or maximum amounts that you can only put into those products, the earlier that you start investing and really strategically thinking about what taxes might do to you in retirement, the better off you'll be. Now, how often do you think tax planning is overlooked? It's overlooked a lot. Most of the baby boomers, probably your grandparents, they weren't really taught off these tax savings, but it was a lot because they didn't have the availability of products to do that for them. Now they're out there, they're available. So it's very important to educate yourself because you, you don't know what you don't know. Sit down and talk to someone and learn about that because it is overlooked unnecessarily. What kind of potential savings can come from doing tax planning right? tens of hundreds of thousands depending on your financial situation. Um, you probably have no idea what an RMD is, but I can nope. tell you a 72 year old <laughs> does and someone getting ready to be 73. So that's when if you have put all of your money away without planning for taxes, like it's all pre-tax money, the federal government is going to make you start taking money out of those accounts at age 72 and a half. So there goes your freedom. You may not want to have to take money out of your accounts. You may want to leave it for your grandchildren, your children as a legacy, but those RMDs will come to get you. And you know, you don't mess with the IRS. If they say you have to pay it, you have to pay it. And RMDs are necessary. So the lower you get the qualified money down or the money that you've put away pre-tax, the more power you're going to have over when you want to take your money out. And then also, we don't know what tax environment we're going to be in retirement, right? It could be much higher than it is now. So by planning for that, it's not going to affect your purchasing power as much because you put strategies and plans in place so that if the worst thing happens, you're still going to be okay. Like you said, it's important for people to be educated about tax prep versus tax planning. What's a good way to kind of dip their toes in the water and learn more if they're not aware. Yeah, sit down with a financial professional and lay out where your money is so that we can analyze exactly how much of it is pre-tax, how much of it is post-tax, and then lay it out and see what you can do and then start planning immediately. Because any of your money, you already have to pay plenty of taxes. So why not minimize that tax bill when you can? So obviously the sooner you start planning to do that, the better off you'll be. But if you think of it this way, someone going into retirement at 65 years old could easily live to 85, 90 years old. So that's a good 25 years of tax savings. You can go ahead and start taking advantage of what you can. Now, one misconception people might have is that tax planning is only if you're super, super wealthy. Is that true? No, everybody pays taxes, right? That's right. So no, I think everybody would wanna save money. Wealthy, poor, it doesn't matter. Middle class, who cares? You would think even lesser uh, financial situations, you'd probably wanna save that money even more, right? <laughs> Absolutely, I mean, the lower income, they don't deal with as high a tax bracket. That's so right. obviously, you know, that's why you need a, a CPA to sit down and talk about those things. What else should be at the top of everyone's mind when they're planning for retirement right now? When you're planning for retirement, you need to have a goal. What do you want to do in retirement? Sit down with someone and talk about it. Be very transparent because we can't read your mind. So tell us what you want your money to do. Saving money, that is wonderful. But when you can save it and then also put a strategy behind it where it has a purpose, that'll send you over to in your retirement map. Well, thank you so much again Absolutely. for clearing all that up for us. Thank you. And for you at home, if you want to make sure your retirement preparation factors in taxes, Amy has a great offer for you. 
Right now for the first five callers with a portfolio of $250,000 or more, she's offering a complimentary roadmap for retirement. This will allow Amy and her team to sit down with you personally and provide you with a plan analyzing where you are right now and discuss your best steps to get ready for retirement. The number to call 803-615-2290.